Hello everyone, Wolf Morning. My name is Douglas. Let's get started with drawing things. Things and places ready. So, what's going on here? You might wonder, those of you who just showed up. Or not anyone specifically because I just started started streaming. So I'm gonna draw a new comic book page for tomorrow. That's what I do, that's the thing I do. But I totally do not feel like doing that, so how will I go about doing that then? By doing creative endearing stuff. That is the short answer. When you don't feel like doing something, maybe try and throw in something interesting on that to get it going. Uh, what sort of interesting thing is that that you're throwing, Doug? Backgrounds. Backgrounds are annoying to do, but they're interesting as fuck. Let's get to some backgrounding, I guess. So, what is going on in here, guys, I wonder? Um perspectives what I want to do is have let me explain this on a, on a top-down plane it's a little bit easier to understand I want to draw a street but it doesn't go like far into the distance like a one-point perspective like this where you would have a street that does this and this and the further away the, the buildings are the smaller they get but they're always converging the same one point perspective. I want to have something a little bit more uh, alive, more organic. I wanted to make a, a, a street that kind of curves slightly. Problem is, when you do that, you fuck up perspectives, and you see. <laughs> so, what's up with that? Um. So for example here, I'm gonna draw this street and it curves a little bit to the to the right. Imagine that this is a top-down view of the of the street. This is I, the viewer, and I am watching in a cone in that direction. Let's say that for just for the sake of argument. This cone extends like infinitely, but it ends about there. Not to say like, ah, whatever is past that cone is my... Is... I can't see. No, no, not quite. But, for example, I'm looking straight, in tr straight ahead and eventually... Uh, this is my line of sight. Precisely my line of sight. I am using the wrong brush for this. This is my line of sight, and at any point in my line of sight, there are going to be perpendicular lines, which will signify the horizon. So, this is just a little drawing aid, pretty much. So, what happens here is that Say, for example, now I'm gonna have buildings here on both sides of the street. What the hell is gonna happen with them, you might wonder? With these delicious buildings as they keep going. Well, first let's throw the buildings, then we will figure out what the heck goes on with them. So the only thing I'm doing here is making sure that they follow the orientation of the road, which is pretty much being like uh, they they try to be as ten tangent as possible to the road, not necessarily like 100% right with the tangent tangency, but just like enough. So what happens now? We have this going on, this, this thing in place. 
I start to I start thinking about perspectives. Like I said, my my point of view is gonna be straight far ahead. So this is gonna be my one point perspective. And anything that is parallel to that goes through that same point. So say for example this house here and this house is here, they're parallel to that, to this line. Oh fuck. Since they follow parallel to this line, they're gonna follow the same one point perspective. Simple enough to begin with. User to do it like so. Now things start getting shitty with these houses here. Because they are not parallel at all with my with my line of sight. So what do I know? I know that their that their perspective is gonna be a little bit off to the side. So you could say that, for example, I would have, uh, from where I am, I would have to look slightly to the side. Actually, let me lower the music volume. There you go. From where I am, I'm gonna have to look to the side, so I'm gonna have to turn my view. Uh, that's so I can draw a line from where I am up until the horizon line that is parallel with the direction these buildings are facing, so pretty much this. Just pretend that that is parallel in some way. That is gonna be the vanishing point for this buildings here. Oh, but Doug, this building here is even more tilted. What the hell? This true here, for example. Same thing. I draw a parallel line. See where in the perspective, where in the horizon line that that lands. Entering a train a vanishing point over there. But this is just an example, you're not gonna actually use this line here because for example if this line were if the horizon line were to be closer to me, consider the vanishing points would would have been like much closer to one another. And closer to the center. So there is an actual way to calculate this, like where in the horizon line is gonna be the vanishing point for these things. But that would require more uh, study than I'm willing to give at currently. I do have a book on perspectives and whatnot somewhere here, but I don't feel like going and getting that book, reading it aloud here in the stream, and then dealing with that. So I won't be doing that. Hope you all don't mind. So, but to exemplify, this is what I had done before. I determined where in my horizon line would be, horizontally or vertically. Not that it matters, but eh. Then I threw in a one point perspective that goes straight into this place here. And drew some buildings. And they look fine. They look like buildings would look. In this circumstance, like not 100% precise or amazing, not not any details at all, just like some geometry to make sure that they are 
dynamic in some way. So some of these buildings are slightly further in. We don't know. So some buildings are kind of poking out, some are not poking out. I may do some adjusting to this, actually, because I do that sometimes. And that's it. I have this uh, delicious little little buildings following this uh, following this uh, one point perspective. But then, uh, this is where my one point perspective is going to be for the building for for those buildings. But then there is going to be another one point perspective, a little bit to the side to simulate those buildings that are on the curve. How do I do that? I just copy paste this layer here, which also copies this uh, perspective ruler because I'm not that good. A drawing, a drawing straight line, so there is a perspective ruler going on here on Clip Studio, which enables me to draw things in perspective without me having to focus on getting the lines right. I just have to. I just need to remember. Oh, they're in perspective. Okay, and go for broke. But to do that, I have to define a, a vanishing point in my perspective and throw it in there. So what I did was copy paste this this ruler, move it a little bit to the side, and then now I had an, another point perspective. So I started throwing in some. Um, if, I, if we come here, we will see that this point perspective is in here, a little bit to the side, not that far away, just enough. But if I start drawing, if I start drawing buildings there, uh, you will see that they now are. They follow a different uh, orientation now. Instead of going straight ahead, they they start curving to the side. It's not that visible, but it is there. It is an effect. And also, I, whereas I could just simply throw in a one point perspective, I actually decided to go and throw in another, another vanishing point there to make it a two point perspective. Because, for example, if I were to go and draw a building here. You will see that it, it will actually look like it's a 2D building because this line here is going to be, it's not going to be straight horizontally, it's going to converge to another point there in the distance, which is going to give this a little tilt, which is going to make this a little bit more believable. The problem with that is if I want to draw buildings in this side here on the left side of the thing, uh, but going doing the opposite thing like going that way I can't they're sharing one point they're sharing the same perspective so to do buildings on this side they would look weird on this side they look good on this side they look weird unless if I were to get another perspective layer I throw it in there but and you may think but Doug that sounds like a whole lot of work to do for perspectives but here's the thing we're used to think of thinking of perspectives in this weird way. We think like, oh, the scene will have one perspective and everything has to converge to that perspective. Whereas, that's not how perspectives work. Every single object in a scene has its own perspective. You have to find that perspective and, and work with it for that object only. It's just for simplification things 
that we use multiple, uh, we use the same perspective for multiple objects. Objects normally don't share the same, persp the, the same perspective unless they are in the same space, like the same physical space, which most of the time is, is impossible, hence why we don't do that. Um, or if we're ignoring one of the perspectives, normally the vertical vanishing point, the zenith and the other one, which I always forget. If we're ignoring those, then height doesn't matter that much. Oh, well, would you look at that? The window is a whistling. If we do ignore the vertical vanishing point, buildings can be placed like more or less whatever in a vertical manner. So height doesn't matter anymore. And if we if we ignore the second perspective, the second uh, vanishing point, we can also ignore distance. So it doesn't matter if the thing is close or far to the one point vanishing point. They're all gonna share the same perspective. In other words, that works well for things that are built like in a straight line and it just kind of goes off into the distance in a very straight manner. Then that works. Which not always is the case. With buildings, it's never the case because buildings are built in whichever way the terrain allows. Not necessarily, they don't try to kind of align the face of the buildings in a straight line. So there's that. And also, hello there. Uh, Oi, Gustavo Ferreira. Seja bem-vindo e bom dia. Uh, eu estou desenhando um uh, uh, prédios em perspectiva. Tentando praticar um pouco a perspectiva para 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 botar no quadrinho para nova página que eu vou fazer. So that is it pretty much for for in the way of perspectives. We have another, yet another layer where the vanish, where the vanishing point is a little bit further to the side, uh, which gives this impression of a, a curved street, even, even, even gives it even a further notion of that. Problem with this is. Um, Without any polish, without me actually going in and drawing the details in the buildings, this looks a little bit bland, which isn't fun. I actually have a picture in my wall that is a, an example of perspective on that one I like. But anyway. Uh, Gustavo disse parece que você não está dando muita atenção para os comentários. Eu estou lendo eles, eu só não respondo na hora, porque que eu quando eu estou explicando algum assunto se eu paro de explicar para ler responder os comentários eu perco minha linha de pensamento e aí e aí eu esqueço o que, que eu estava falando e depois eu fico confuso então para evitar eu ficar passar muito tempo tipo uh, o que que eu estava falando eu termino de falar o que, que eu estava pensando antes de e pro próximo ponto, que seria responder os comentários e ver o que vocês estão falando. E sim, eu vi o desenho que você mandou. And also, hello there, Oni. Woof woof to you. Pork pork. Welcome to the stream. Today is not a, 
a great day. It might be sad to hear that. Then I'm feeling like, eh, a little bit, a little bit under the weather, but that will. It normally passes when I spend some time here on the stream with you guys. Will it pass this time though? Who knows? Let's hope that it does. Gustavo diz o que você acha que eu posso melhorar no desenho? Uh, pelo que eu vi, parece que... Não sei que programa de desenho você está usando, mas parecia ser ou o GIMP ou o Paint. O Paint que vem com Windows. Pela forma que as cores, elas... Como as linhas eram bem nítidas e as cores paravam bem na linha. Ficava meio pixelado de uma certa forma. Uma coisa que eu sugiro para você fazer é desenhar mais no papel. Porque desenhar digital não é ajuda. Você tem que é, desenhar mais no papel. Porque uma coisa que você tem que treinar é a desenvoltura com a mão. O como desenhar com a mão, no caso, muita gente desenha mexendo bastante o pulso, sendo que você pode mexer o braço, ou mexer o ombro, para fazer o braço inteiro mexer ao invés de ficar mexendo o pulso, porque senão você vai cansar mais o seu braço. Então, aprender a melhor forma de se posicionar, sua postura, é um, be um ótimo passo, e isso você só vai aprender com desenho no papel, com lápis e caneta. Outra coisa também que a pintura digital não ajuda muito é porque ela tem... Ela joga muitas ferramentas em você e normalmente um artista não tem muita noção de como as ferramentas funcionam de verdade, como elas interagem. Muitos artistas não têm nem noção do básico de desenho. Antes de querer começar a fazer coisas mais uh, extraordinárias. Então, uma coisa que eu recomendo é você tentar evitar de ferramentas digitais logo de princípio, para fazer coisas muito boas. Tipo, é sempre bom aprender, se você puder ir aprendendo, é uma boa, mas ao mesmo tempo que você aprende ferramentas digitais, tipo o Paint Tool Sai, que você disse, e também não parar de treinar no papel, porque treinar no papel é o que vai realmente te fixar na sua mente o básico de desenho. Porque então, uma coisa é você desenhar e outra coisa é você pintar um desenho. E por falar em pintura... É... No papel, eu não sou fã de colorir coisas no papel. Por N razões. Então, tudo que eu, tudo que eu desenho no papel é só rascunhos. Nunca nada colorido. Daí uma coisa que você pode fazer é treinar... Treinar pintura no papel para você entender como funciona a pintura. E aprender as técnicas de pintura, porque se você faz isso direto no computador, uh, não ajuda muito. Você sempre tem o Ctrl Z à sua disposição, o botão de apagar todo todo o papel de to toda toda a tela isso não ajuda para você treinar a desenvoltura de de lidar com o que está na sua tela com o que está no, no seu papel porque uma coisa que bastante bastante artistas têm é esse medo do de, na, hoje em dia de desenhar no papel e, e tudo mais porque se você erra, 
você vai lá e apaga direto com a borracha e tenta de novo, e vai fazendo isso. Só que você, por causa que o... todo mundo tem bastante medo de errar, e de seguir em frente com o um erro, mas é seguindo em frente com o um erro que você aprende coisas como o que que eu errei, por que que ficou ruim, e o que que eu fiz, o que que eu improvisei pra disfarçar esse erro. E se você desenha um papel com uma caneta, ou se você pega só guache ou tinta acrílica e faz pinturas no papel pra colorir, uh, se você erra alguma coisa ali, você não tem como dar um Ctrl Z, não tem como você apagar aquilo, você tem que lidar com aquilo. E isso vai treinando sua mente pra lidar com isso. E também, claro, técnicas de pintura e outras coisas. Então, o que eu acho que você pode melhorar é treinar mais no papel, no geral. Imagina, você não precisa nem ser papel chique, você não precisa de canetas de caligrafia ou, ou caralho a quatro. Um papel normal, um lápis de qualquer tipo. Eu uso lapiseira, tem gente que fala, não, tem que ser um lápis de desenho. Pra mim, tanto faz, uma lapiseira normal funciona. Um lápis também funciona, uma, pode ser uma caneta também. O que você tiver à disposição, se você, se você tiver giz e quiser desenhar no chão, também funciona. O importante é você treinar bastante no papel e treinar o básico de desenho, que é anatomia, perspectiva, geometria básica. E levar isso pra frente. So here we have this uh, wrong key. Here we have this perspective, and the thing I want to do here now, I did like this perspective, but the scene I had picture in my mind was different. Like one thing I imagine was, let me hide these layers and kind of sketch this out here with my delicious marker pencil. I, I, I picture like a top-down view with the car carriage uh, driving into the distance where the characters are. So imagine there's a carriage driving into the distance. We see those buildings here on the side. Then we see that the street starts to turn and the buildings go and change with the street turning around. Depending on their height, of course, they... What the hell happened? What? Whoa, what happened here? What? Oh, okay, I see. Never mind. Um, yeah, buildings. Buildings are plenty. And this top down view. Uh, in the distance we get to see like a big structure that is like the you, something that kind of gives you the feeling of that's where they are driving towards this carriage here is trying to reach this big uh, building off there in the distance Say, for example, a clock tower or whatever. Imagine the British Parliament, that's something kind of like that's what I'm imagining here. Of course, when you look at this from another, when you flip this horizontally, you get to feel like, whoa, Doug, how could you? 
Draw something so so crooked. But anyway, this is what I had in mind. But to do this, I have to draw things below the perspective line, for most part, for the most part. But this is what I had in mind, more or less. Then I started drawing, I drew in the, the perspective line here very low and draw buildings way above that. So if, say if I wanna, if I wanna have a, if I want to have a, boy this music so loud, I barely think. Uh, if I want to have like this building I said here, like, ah, they're going to that big building over in the distance. I want to try and draw it. It's going to be like this at most. going to be Where is it? Ah, there you are. You little boy. The building would be like this. That would be all you could see from the building. And from that, you're not able to really get a... A reading on what the hell that is. It's gonna be like, well, sure, it's a thing in the distance. It's higher than all the other things, but sure, you're just exercising, doing random backgrounds because why not? <clears throat> and also, the carrier here would be like huge. Would occupy most of the. Most of the, most of the canvas is showing it exists and it's going over there. So what I want to do is try and drawing this again. Oh, you said so. What's Doug working on now? I'm working on not getting uh kind of under the weather. I am already uh, already under the weather. I'm trying to power through it and get better. How about you, Oni? How? What are you doing? And your your Oni you see is wet. Oh, Oni, why? Gustavo, você diz que também parece nojenta? Não. Anatomia é o básico de desenho, é o mínimo que você precisa saber. Dizer que parece nojento é. É uma ótima forma de mostrar que você não tem maturidade para lidar com. com arte no geral. Que. A anatomia, querendo ou não. é uma. É... Sim, parece chato, parece. Tedioso, mas é o básico do básico do básico que você precisa saber se você quer desenhar uh, personagens, pessoas e afins. E não é a coisa mais legal de, de passar tempo fazendo, pegar e desenhar uh, corpos ana ana anatomicamente corretos em várias posições. Não parece divertido nem um pouco, mas, como eu disse, é o básico de desenho para desenhar personagens. É o mínimo que você precisa saber. E uma pergunta, o que é que, que os furries fazem? Ah... Fazer depende, nada em muito específico. Depende da pessoa, depende de quem, de para quem você está perguntando isso. 
Mas no geral a ideia uh, dos furries é que uh, você basicamente tem um personagem que é um animal que te representa. Que, que no caso tá, é um, um animal qualquer. Só que ao invés de ser tipo um animal mesmo, ele é uma versão humanizada ou antropomorfizada de um animal. No caso, que anda no, com os pés, usa roupas e, e afins. Tipo os desenhos da Disney, praticamente. Os desenhos mais antigos, tipo o Mickey. Uh, e é isso, basicamente é isso. So what I'm gonna do here is copy these layers, hide all of them. Actually, not hide. Let's throw them into a folder alongside with this thing. This is good and bad a practice for you guys to be going and doing. Yeah, yeah I can do that. Would you look at that? Uh, a good and a bad practice for you guys to go and do is this whole thing of uh, copying folders. When you have like several layers of sketch, you can pick all of them up, throw them into a folder that's so instead of like tr uh, turning in several layers at a time, you can just turn on the folder and there you have the whole thing. And then when you don't want it anymore, you just throw off the layer, the folder layer. The problem with this is that now I wanna, I want, I want to keep the 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 rulers for the perspective, but I don't want to keep the drawings. So I just deleted the drawings, but I kept the rulers. But the problem with that is that eventually you're gonna end up with a file size. That is gigantic because of the sheer amount of layers you have and a lot of layers that are redundant. Because some layers you might not even need them in there. They are very redundant and they are there for no good or worthwhile reason. It's, it's, so it's a uh, worthwhile thinking on whether or not you want to keep that. So, I have this drawing here already, and I think I'm gonna go on with it. I throw it down below there. Uh, turn out, down the opacity a little bit. And... Start throwing down some lines. Actually, let me turn off all these layers, never mind. Uh, if I want this perspective here to happen, that's where my vanishing line point would have to be, so I'm gonna move that thing over there. Actually, let me move all these layers over there. Because I'm such a smart boy, I keep <coughs> I keep copies of my layers. <laughs> I mean, not copy of copies of my layers. What the hell am I talking about? I forgot what I was going to say. I kept all my layers together and I had this little cross here that signifies the vanishing point, the middle point of all layers. For me to go and throw... Uh, for me to easily and quickly move them around. And then you said that you feel disgusting, you had one of those rings nobody wants to have. What dreams, Oni? What happened? <clears throat> what sort of dream did you have?
Careful here with them perspectives. Now, one of those dreams where you have seen your biological father. What? But why? Every time you dream of that, willingly or not, a uh, German. A uh, psychologist over there laughs into your graves. Come on, why don't you cooperate with me? But are you all right, Oni? Despite that dream. Hope that you're, that you're not too uh, perturbed by that dream you had. Because it does not sound like a very nice dream to have. Oh no. I mean, they really. And you're okay, you just feel disgusting about it. Oh no, only. Yep. So if my psychoanalyzing psycho friends were here, they would start going off on lots of... Uh, lots of ideas. They would be like, ah, you dreamed that, I really dreamed this, it's because of this and because of that. And in your case, I guess they would say like, ah, you want to be closer to your father, you... You regret that you guys don't have a better relationship and that is your mind way of showing you how much you wish you were closer to him? And then you're like, mind, what the fuck? Don't. Just don't. Why would you? But anyway, Wolf Morning Oni, welcome back into our lives, into the stream. Hope you're, hope you're having a good, delicious uh, day of the tours, which is sad actually. I'm like one day away from the day I have to update the comic, and I'm like, ah, I don't, I don't want to work. I don't have anything done. What am I gonna do? Uh, it says, hello girls, Doug, I don't want to have sing with your actual father, you just want him to respect you and stuff. Yeah, that's what we all want. But, um, I'm just saying. Uh, the 
this uh, this friend slash acquaintance I had had uh, his idea was well he actually went through psychology uh, college majored in psychology so he studied that a lot quite a lot and at the end every day he would come back and be like oh we learned this new theory in college and I, I apparently there's this old German psychologist who believes that everything boils down to sex and everything boils down to how much you want to bang your parents <clears throat> like hey are you a person that wants to bang your parent? Then you have problems. Are you a person that don't want to bang your parents? Well, you have problems. Of a different kind, but problems nonetheless. And apparently, this entire idea is that the, this guy's this theory, theory was all, all about banging one's as parents. And depending on how the banging would, went, uh, it was a different problem you had. I don't know exactly who it was, but seriously, if you do look up like German psychologist, um, I don't know what you would even look like, search for. But if you search for something like parents, sex, and it's gonna, you're gonna find, gonna find who the hell I'm talking about. Uh, you told it your therapist about it once. She says I just have daddy issues. I don't know what exactly daddy issues would be in your case, honey. Daddy issues like I want my father to. I want to prove myself to my father and want him to respect me, him or her, my parents. Respect me, or does it goes a couple steps the further and become something like, Oh, I want my father to. I don't want my father just to respect me, I want my father to also interact with me more, like. Uh, let's go out and have an ice cream today. It's such a lovely day outside. Let's play sports. Let me troll. Play soccer with you or play some video games or whatever. Because that's the thing. Growing up. I had this friend, I, I had like two friends growing up, one of them uh, was an only child, so everything that happened, uh, well, it was an only child, so, there was simply no way he could interact with his parents, and in weird ways, they're like, ah, you're only son and we need this or we need that, so come in and help us with those things. This other friend of mine though, <clears throat> uh, he, his parents were very, very like, very interactive. They would always show up, they would talk to us and on random occasions and they would uh, they would also partake with us in all these side activities like ah let's play some video games, let's play some soccer, let's go out to have some hot dogs or whatever. They would do those, these, these guys' parents would have this leisure, would do these leisure activities with us. And which was weird. Because we didn't have that with our own parents. I was like, huh, why? I wonder. <clears throat> I 
But anyway, that's nor here nor there. And then it says, but growing up sucks, Doug. Oh yeah, it does, Sony. You got that right. Growing up sucks so much. And yet we almost do it. I don't want to grow up, buddy. Help me. What are you gonna do to help me, Oni? I don't want to grow up, but grow up I shall. I mean, shit, you took too long and I have grown up already. Now I'm, now I'm 25 years old. So ideally I should be doing like the perspective multiplication and division to make sure that these buildings they have the right size but like eh whatever You know what, Ali? Maybe, maybe I won't be drawing today. Maybe I'll be playing some games. I totally do not feel like drawing. I want to do something. Uh, I want to do something relaxing. I don't want to think too much today. So, what should we play today, Ali? Give me suggestions. And also, hello there, Coley Classic Wolf Morning. Welcome to the stream. Are you still in Toma? Are you still in to time? Sorry. Well then, would you look at that? My internet keeps being shitty as usual. 
Uh, but yeah, let's play Celeste. Throw that in there. Uh, let's take out that and that tag. Throwing away. And uh, blah, blah, blah. let's throw that, change that category to that. Update stream information and get that going. And also, how are you doing uh, today, Coley Classic? How's your tour's uh, day going so far? Sorry, I'm confused easily. And I forget which days are which. Hope you're having a good day today. Is the game going? Is it? Is it a thing? Yes and no, it is, but it isn't. But now it is. There you go. Celeste. Let's Celeste. Also, uh, Oni says we were just talking about a dream I had last night. The Coley class, Coley's classic says, I'm good. How are you all? Yeah, yeah, I know. I was here the whole time. Really? Lurking? Well, I'm glad you were. In a way. Uh, Gustavo, sir, being been revolt. Alright, I don't remember where I left off. Let's play some Celeste. Oh, dang. No. It was in this level, I guess. <laughs> okay, th that strawberry there, I can't get it but just by... Dashing, I have to... There we go. Got the strawberry. I don't think I can keep going that way. I, I think, in fact, that this was like optional stuff that I did. Let's go the other way then. And Coley says also, I was working on some stuff at the side so I can chat on the side of me. Oh, uh, I was uh, I was already gonna ask like, what site? Is it? Is it what you work with? Are you a site builder? Want to know all about your work. Uh, Gustavo, uh, bem, eu não sei sobre o número de visualizações. Eu tento não prestar atenção nisso. Porque é chato. Also, uh, thank you. 101. It's raiding with a party of nine. So many people. Hello and welcome. Thanks for the raid. Uh, how are you doing? What were you playing? More Persona 3? I hope. Yep. Shit. Wolf morning, by the way. Welcome to the stream, you and yours. Uh, Cole says also, I am repairing a top loader VCR. I don't know what that is. It's a tape play. Ah, oh, shit. Up, oh, dang it. <laughs> Got the strawberry. Dang, I almost spiked myself as well. Oh, dang. Well, at least I have the strawberry, so that's alright. Uh, Gustavo também disse, esse é o céu parece um jogo que eu jogava. É meio difícil memorizar tantas palavras em inglês. É! É uma habilidade que tu aprende com o tempo. E eu também não presto atenção no número de visualizadores, porque... Um, apesar de ser importante ter bastante visualizadores, ou... De... 
Não me importo tanto. Se você foca no número de visualizadores no fim, você acaba não se divertindo quando você vê esse número de DC e eu não quero ficar estressado em nada, tipo, vendo esses números indo e vindo. And Cole also says, Howdy Raiders, video cassette player where you put the tapes through the top of the machine. Hmm. I was just confused, I guess. Over here, I think we call those like uh, VHC, VHS players. So they have a different name, but anyway. And thank you, we're finished playing Persona 3, you was playing Sekiro. Oh my dog, did you die just twice? Or did, uh, dang it. Or did you die more than twice? How you're liking the game, by the way? Oh, dang it. There's nothing there. Would you look at that? And also, Martin Hello says hi. Hello to you too, Martin. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Yep. Yep. Oh, dang it. <laughs> That's dang it. Well, I'm playing Celeste. It's it's crazy. Have any of you ever played Celeste, by the way? Uh, ah, dang it. It's a very, very uh, interestingly hard, not really, climbing game of sorts. It's crazy, that's what it is. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> And I'm dead already. Oh, but I see now what you mean, a top loader VCR. Uh, Alright. Confusing. What? Hmm. So I can't jump. Otherwise, I'm gonna get spiked, but I also can't just stay around. I guess I have to... Oh, that's what I have to do. That's tricky, you know, game. Why do you bring me these tricky puzzles for me to solve? That tricky is what they are. Oh, no. But I am a puzzle solving boy, I solve puzzles, would you look at that? But anyway, uh, thank you. Thank you for the raid, and I hope you ha were having fun with Sekiro. I heard very good things about Sekiro, I even played a little bit of it, but it seems so complicated. Like, it takes so long for you to make progress. Just like Dark Souls and Bloodborne. I'm afraid it would be raging more often than not, and people, I don't know if, if they would like it. Uh, Gustavo disse que eu só estava falando que sobe e desce. Mas ainda assim, eu prefiro nem pensar sobre isso. É, você estava vendo uma aula de inglês no YouTube, quando aprendi algumas palavrinhas, conseguiu juntar outras palavras e conseguiu traduzir? Uh... É uma boa. Tipo, não é um negócio que você vai aprender do dia para noite, é um negócio que vai demorar anos para você aprender direito. Mas funciona. Also, hello there, Sam. Welcome to the stream. You did great in your test. That's awesome to hear. Nicole says, seems a lot like that VVVV... PV game. It does, except that it's... Well, it's just like that 
game, exactly that same game. Is V6, but with more colors. And only you said I, and your boyfriend says you have daddy issues. Oh no. And Coley says it's okay to have daddy issues. You never had a dad either. Oh no. Thank you says, wow, I one shot the boss I couldn't do it on stream. The game is fantastic. There's a video I could show you that would make it would make it much easier. Well, what is the video about? I have already uh like I have played through Dark Souls 3. Oh one of these again. Okay. Ah oh, dang it, I come back from all the way over here. I have played through Dark Souls 3, Bloodborne, Dark Souls 2 as well. Dark Souls 1 I tried, but Dark Souls 1 is like so slow compared to the others. So I'm a little bit more... Uh, ooh, a strawberry. No! Dang! I'll dip the roof. Up. Okay, bye. Bye again. It's a it's it's a matter of getting 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 good. But sure, do hit me up with that video. I would like to see what's up with it. Oh, maybe that's what's up with that. Oh, that's totally what's up with that. I have to go into the bubble, then out of the bubble in time. For me to keep up with the transporter shenanigan. Ah, shit. Yeah, that's what I have to do. That's so tricky. And Sam says, hmm. Brasileiro que aqui inesperado. Hope you guys are having a great time. I hope you guys are having a great time indeed. So what are what are gonna be your plans for right now? Thank you. Yep. Yep. Ah, uh, dang it. Yeah, uh, I did that wrong. I know so very little about your life nowadays. Part of me wish I knew more. No! Fuck uh, damn Madeline. No. Is a thing I do when I'm stressed. Gustavo. Uh, que tal eu falo em inglês você me responde em português? Pode ser! <coughs> and the dog that is showing up on live looks like he's sleepy. Uh, huh. Verdade! Esse vídeo tá tocando errado. Não era pra estar assim. The fuck? Agora tá melhor, eu acho. <coughs> Sam, we're going already. Uh, sure thing, Sam. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. I'll be seeing you later. And also. Uh, Tinky says probably gonna go to bed super soon. Why? Why go to bed when you could st st stay here and uh, hang out with us? Oh, deep in the room, I got crushed, got spiked. No. Getting spiked hurts my feelings. Yep. 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 Yeah. Yeah. 
shucks. Is what I say. And I'm stressed. I don't say profanities anymore. I'm a very clean boy now. None of you believe that, but that that's the truth. Believe me, I'm a clean boy. Alright, so what I need now is true. Simply let go! Ye holy shit! I said profanities, I shouldn't. But I did. But I did so because I was happy. So it's not the bad kind of profanity, it's the good kind of profanity. It's the profanities you say when you are so happy that things worked out your way. So it's not bad. I, I feel like this thing lets me jump higher. There you go. Oh boy. Ah! Onya says that when Doug speaks Portuguese, it gets you wet. Oh my dog, Oni, no. You're gonna get, you're gonna get sick if you get wet too much. No. Oh, floating spikes, why are you a thing? Aha! No! Oh boy! Boy, oh boy! <gasps> Secret strawberry! Shh! Secret! No, let me come back. Wait, what? Oh, this is just a secret strawberry, not the way forward. Alright. Uh, Gustavo, just see. Google Translate may have some translation errors. Um, tenta não usar o Google Translate. Tenta, eita. tenta usar suas próprias palavras. É o melhor jeito de aprender inglês. Uh, let me go and... There you have it. Oh sh shenanigans. Oh boy. Alright, how about I try and just go for it, like Oh. No. There you have it. Uh alright, alright. Dang. It's kinda like that. I just go. Ah uh, sh shucks. Go! Power Rangers! Ah, Eng! Uh, uh, uh. One, two, three! It's a dance, ladies and gentlemen, and gentlewoman. Ha! No shit! <laughs> Alright. Oh, maybe I don't do the. I see. I see, says the blind man. Oh boy. No. No. Nah. Using that too soon. Song Wong says, I am Fenfen, fear me meow. <laughs> Hello there, welcome to the stream. How's it going? How are you doing in this fantastic. <clears throat> I mean, shenanigans. It is fantastic. Thursday. Trying to get myself hyped up. Oh boy. For this long ass week I'm gonna have in front of me. <laughs> Get on my line. Wait, do I have to go back after doing that? Maybe that's the way to do it. Oh boy. That totally is the way to do it. I guess. Ah, no. And then it says sugar honey iced tea. Uh, 
Uh, Gustavo, sim, fui eu que desenhei o personagem. Uh, abysm, chasms, mountain. Let me fly away. Like holy sh Donald, Donald, no. <coughs> Call it cla classic. The goodbye bot is not online. I forgot to open him up. That happens sometimes. Sorry. And Song Wong, you just woke up. Wow, Wolf Morning. And happy Tuesday. Just a second, the goodbye bot is opening up. It takes a while for them to wake up. When once he does. You all shall do some. There we go. The goodbye bot is up now. I forget to start the, the thing every now and then. Alright, let's solve this puzzle. Oh, I can do that. What do you know? Oh boy, I got strawberry. And I died. Look at that. I wasn't even... Oh, I come back from there. Why? I mean, sure. Give me <coughs> that deliciousness. Oh, no. What? I don't get that. What the hell is going on there? But this is not the way forward. Ah. But it kinda is. Like 50 shades of what the fuck in here. Uh, Gustavo. No. Fuck. My tiny, tiny hands cannot hold me for that long. No. Whoop. Oh, come on. I was so close. And yet so far. This requires so f such fast reflexes, such flat, such fast, much reflexes. Wow, I can do this. Come on, Doug, you were smart, boy. You can do that. And uh, that works, but that's not what I want to do. I dare. What? I'm confused. I call the classic says I want to drink strawberry. Why would you want to drink strawberry? Strawberry is better with other stuff in it. Not as a drinkable beverage. Do I try to get this strawberry by the way? Ah oh, dang it. Dak Dog darn ding it. Oh, every now and then that jump kind of does surprise us, doesn't it? The secret to jumping. It's not landing in the spikes, that's it. That's the secret of jumping. But Doug, what if I like the spikes so very much? Then I will. <sighs> fuck it. Just fuck it. The 
fuck it, also very hard. How do, how do I do that? Mm. What even? What? <gasps> oh my sh oh my lord. Oh my lordy. Only look at that, I found a secret. By a secret I mean the way forward. <laughs> I found it. No I fucked up. Only help me. This level is hard. Look at me! How in the world will I do that? Like, holy shit. <sighs> Gustavo. Senhor Morango, my friend. Oni says, okay, Doug, fuck me very hard. I will do no such thing, Oni. You are, you are a very good boy who deserves the fuck, but not like that. You deserve a very passionate fuck. But a ha ah, fuck. But a hard one. <gasps> I am having fun. Don't even dare say I'm not having fun. Ah, uh, right. How about I try and do something different, such so as trying to, to do the same thing, but this time around, waiting a little bit further to see what happens. Mm. Wait, can I even get over there? I mean, I can get over there. Okay. But then how do I get back? That is a question. Like, what the hell is it? Alright. Because this does not seem that impossible. It just seems like, what even? No. Up. Oh. Mm. Okay. Let, let Let's suppose I can get that and then come back here. Is there a way for me to go back without dying, preferably? Apparently not. I guess that the idea is that I don't have to wait for this thing to get there. I can kind of jump and do my own thing. Like that. How about that? Gustavo, I don't think you're supposed to there. Only says touch it, then mad dash without the block. I did it! I'm a smart boy, I did it. Ah, oh, fuck. No! 
Madeline, don't die. Dang, it's bad for your health, you know. You little wee child, you know. How the shit? Wow. That was doable. What do you know? Oh no. Stop trying to kill me. Uh, what? 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 Hey, sure. I'll take it. Mm, thank you, says alright. I'm off to bed. Good night. Oh no. It's so soon. It's, it's 10 in the morning. What's your thing, thank you. Thanks for stopping by and have a good night. Sleep tight. Sweet dreams. Oh no. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is tricky. Oh. Tricky, tricky, tricky. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm falling. Dang. Aha. Ooh, huh. Yeah, that kind of works. All right. No way. Huh? Ah, 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 ah. Oh, man, this thing. Ah. Uh, Oh, this wall jump mechanics is so crazy. Ah. Mm. Mm. Window, no, you're not helping. Window, stop it. You're not helping. <gasps> ah, my back. F fucking hell. I swear, fucking hell. Oh, this bubble. No. Ah, uh, my Ah. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna make like sex noises. Just you wait. Oh, uh, that's what I do when I sex. I go like, uh. and then it says window is back. Yay, window! Why, honey? The window does not care for you. The window just whistle. It doesn't care whom for. That's what it does. Uh huh. Would you look at that? This bi Doug, the boy, the daddy boy. <laughs> ah, is that a secret I see in new game? Mm hmm hmm. Wouldn't want me finding your secrets, would you? Oh shit. All right. <laughs> So I pick this thing and I can go, uh, it will go up, but I can go left while doing so. Into that little area, then I drop, fall into that bubble, and then I 
fly up again but then I go start going right then I fall into that bubble that thing will go up regardless so what I can do is wait for it to go up enough then I drop down and go right and get that strawberry Wow Wow No, I thought it was gonna allow me to go a little bit further left, but no, it won't. Well then, Blood Mage Dragner, howdy, welcome, oh boy, welcome to the stream, and Wolf Morning, how are you doing today? Have you come to see Daddy Shapo succeed in fuck? Succeed in doing the fuck. Because if you're here for that, then you come to the right place. I am succeeding. Oh, I see. I see. But Doug, what is it that you see? I see the solution. That's what I see. No! Ah. So close! So close! Ah! Dang it! Come on! Only is wet! On you see is quivering with anticipation for me to get that delicious strawberry. Like, come on. You can do it, Doug. I know you can. Because I am you and I know what your uh, physical capacities are like. Dang it. And Blood Mage says, I believe in you, Daddy Doug. Daddy Shepo, rather. Oh, it's one and the same, really. Nonetheless, welcome. How are you doing today? It is Thursday. Hopefully, you're do doing good. Ah! Shit! No! I... Mm. And only I see what... Uh, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to... Get the squeaks... Just in time with when I die. Isn't it? Isn't that? Isn't so. Isn't it? Mm, uh, yeah. Yes! I when I get tilted, I start doing incoherent noises. Yeah. Kukinga. All right, that's the way to do it. All right, I just let go. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Into the eternity. Shit. When he says, "Hell no!" I want you to sex grown and slap me, Daddy Dag. What? No, no, no. What? was wrong. Blood Mates Ragnar says doing our okay tests are coming but at least we can is just around the arounds the corner. That it is. What are your plans for the weekend? Hopefully your plans for the weekend are to have ah are to have fun. Whoa. I didn't even believe in that grab, it was so, so pretty. 
precarious. And it says you're just squeaking your squeaky toy. Oh, and if there's one thing I know about you, it's there's never just, never just a just. There's always aha in your face, a strawberry. Go, Madeline, walk against the wind. It is a strong, but you are stronger. <laughs> sure. All right, I think I know how to get that last strawberry. Fine. Fini. Uh, all right. No, no, that doesn't work. Kinda. If I went back, it would have worked. Hmm. Not quite. Ah. Uh. Oni! Oni! Help me! Uh, Oni! We made it! With the power of the Oni, you see, we made it! Am I right? Ragnar, you said, sleeping mostly and studying for the few hours you're awake. Oh no! But I have to spend time with Daddy Shepard doing fun things. Uh, what the f actual fuck? Oh, okay, I guess. something like that but not quite So soon. Ah, I got my new car. Come on, wind. Okay, the wind seems to have... Oh! Oh, that kills me instantly! Oh no! Is this a boss battle? Also known as boss battle? That's the sound of me. When I get hit by a snowball. It's the sound of me when I die. Get the pata pata pata. Good da pa da pa. Oh boy. Boy oh boy. Ragnar says fun things with Daddy Shepel. Yes. Yes. 
No, don't do that. for the strawberries I'm like eh, I want the strawberries but I also want to be able to finish the game oh, I can jump and go back that will help <clears throat> Actually, I can't. Going back is quite troublesome. Quite a troublesome thing to do. Fine. I don't think the, the stage was designed for you to fall into that little, that little crevice there. Well, what do you know, Doug? It probably was. Oh yay, fun, good win. <sighs> Ragnar, you will have to leave now, gotta catch the bus to college, have a good day, Shepo, with the power of your handsome voice, you can get through the day. <laughs> sure thing, Ragnar. Also, make sure to hit me up later. It's been forever since the last talk. Or it feels like it has been forever, it might have been. Just a couple of wee days, oh no. No! <laughs> wow, those... Flying snowballs are like, amazing. They have amazing aim. I can't ever stop pressing right. If I do, I die. Oh. Why have I not been... Ah! Flipper is what dolphins have. Flippers. They have two of each. No. Ooh. Boy. Boy. <laughs> I'm dead. Okay. Oh 
again. Oh, right now. <clears throat> There's something really odd going on with the timing of these jumps. No, 